everyone, this is Fantastic Worlds, welcoming you to a new journey to Lovecraft Country with Canarum by Zotrope Productions. Zotrope? Pronunciation is going to be a thing for me this run. And this particular um, game was just begging to be used in Lovecraft Country. Not only is it considered a sort of sequel to the At the Mountains of Madness, it also includes elements of his earlier well, Lovecraft's earlier um, mad scientist phase with stories like From Beyond or Beyond the Wall of Sleep, which deal with um, devices designed to penetrate into other dimensions with usually catastrophic results. So we're going to see how these two particular parts of Lovecraft's genres mix together. So, shall we? All life is only a set of pictures in the brain among which there is no difference betwixt those born of real things and those born of inward dreamings. Mm, Howard was big into dreamings. A lot of his stories come from his dreams. Always the ghostly whispering. Ah, so we're in a badly rendered subterranean place. Lots of ferns and strange plants and flying jellyfish. This is normal. This is utterly normal. And... Okay, I'm gonna call it. This is the anima, and I'm in an Abstergo Entertainment pro um, simulation. No more can we harbor ourselves on the sacred shores, for there are things that cannot be undone. Well, typical Lovecraftian statement there. So let's go see what the giant glowing eye and its worshiper have to say. Dr. Faust, is that you? Faust. Ah, what's wrong with your face? Ah, all just a dream. And that's an interesting wristwatch. Or back of the hand watch. So, where are we? Okay. So, oh! Oh, my head! Uh, ah, the pain! It is unbearable! Worst alarm clock ever. Okay, so I'm gonna guess this horrifying. I'm lost. The pain is subsiding. I thought my head was about to explode. Don't let me interrupt you. Anyways, yeah. Okay, so now we're currently moving, and this does not look normal. Let's see. Sleeping couches, four of them, and we are on one. So where's the other three? We left the lights on. Where is everyone? What is this? This device. Its noises are resonating in my mind. Now this reminds me a bit of the resonator that's in um, Beyond the Wall of Sleep, which allows a person to see the horrors that exist outside of visible light current all surrounding us. It's really not a... Is that a knock? I'm not going to touch that right now. Anyways, yeah, so... Yeah. Plants. Apparently this is hooked up to a couple of toaster ovens. Maybe there's some pastries going on here. And a light. Always good to have a light. Aha! And we're smart enough to turn it on. This is good. Okay, so we get a better idea what's going on here. Ooh, what the heck is this? Um... Monstrous plant, some seeds, elder sign there at the bottom right. Uh, nothing good. And it doesn't look like anything we can take. And, let's see. These, ah, so tell me, are these, um, a mystical import, or are they just really inexpensive at the, uh, thrift shop? I think we should probably get moving. Oh! Diverse of Nightshade and Beyond, three times Kowali, Radiant Pyok, Syatide Plant, yeah, this unpronounceable gibberish is very of Lovecraft style. Though, interesting that the outlets seem to be modern. Let's see what we can find over here. Ah, oh, cool. Uh, it's empty. Very a uh, amnesia. Wind seems to be picking up. Ah, whoa. A compass, so we can take this and... No? Seriously? 
It'd be nice to know where north is. It could be a little easier to uh, figure out what's going on. But no, apparently practical items are just not practical to take. Okay, and pencils and a notepad. Let's see. Okay, whoop. Oh. Ah, cool. Uh... 1806-1949. So now we have a time. It's the just after World War II. So now the this is supposed to be, like I said, a semi-sequel to The Mountains of Madness, which occurred in the 1930s. So this is 15 years later. Observation notes on the fourth initiation. Initiation session? This is already sounding bad. 7.05 p.m. All the participants consumed the Divereshi mixture five minutes ago, and they have entered some sort of altered state of consciousness. All of them are vaguely mumbling in their sleep, like they are chanting something, but the sounds are not conscious. Again, bad sign. They seem to be restless. I detect movements in their limbs, as always. I wonder if because they are actually seeing beyond. Well, I... Beyond is usually a very bad thing. Lovecraft in worlds. So you don't want to see what's actually going on. Oh, well, I do like this, how they show the original document over here, and... And, and the fact that we're shining lights on whatever we're looking at. But yeah, 7.15, 10 minutes later. As always, the device is humming and glowing, but this time the atmosphere is different to previous sessions. Whatever the reason this might be, it feels almost like that fantastic device is signaling something in a code I don't recognize. Oh, so you're summoning something. Always good in Lovecraftian game. It is becoming more and more stressful to be alone here in the middle of the cold, dim, and incense-filled room. Wait, what incense? I didn't see any incense burners over there. Who's smoking what? 7.19 p.m. It sounds to me like the intensity of the subject's mumblings is much stronger now. Colors and shades are dancing on the walls with the rhythmic ins and outs of the device. I can feel the wind howling outside. Maybe a snowstorm is approaching or something even worse. 7.24 p.m. Exactly five minutes and three seconds have passed now. They have drifted into my beyond my area of expertise and guidance. Cannot do anything except wish for their safe return. So, uh, dude, you just left us there? Ah, doesn't look like there's any other pages. One of one, I guess. So, I guess that's what we have to see. Anything else? Oh, this one. Upawat Expedition Handbook. I always like how these expeditions, when one of the first things you gotta do is figure out what your branding is gonna be like. I mean, it's probably gonna end up being sigil spam everywhere. And not simply because it's easier to, uh, let's see, anything in here? No. Uh, just in the more branded books. And that one doesn't seem to open. Alright. I guess I should probably be see what else is out there. Interesting. Our expedition sigil is a starfish. But if you've read Out in the Mountains of Madness, you know that uh, that could be something else entirely. Alright. So, here we are. Small antechamber waiting room. Is this, like, supposed to be, like, a doctor's office or something? I don't know. Impolite to leave the doors behind, open behind you. Okay. Let's see what we got. Hello? Anybody here? Well, either... Where well, is everybody? Probably dead, transformed into monsters, or... Not. Ah, oh, damn it. Looks like we're having a power problem right now. Uh-oh. If we actually are in the Antarctic, power problems... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's see what we got for the journal. No electricity. I found the Upawak Antarctic Expedition Base has been enveloped in darkness, and some of the appliances are not functioning due to the power outages, including the locks. So if you have a power failure in a facility like this, you're going to be locked in and die. So, you know, I just love it. You're right back to the no-OSHA <laughs> universe that is Lovecraftian. Um, and practically everything else. Has been enveloped in darkness. And, okay, well, why has no one attended the problem so far? Where is everybody? Not any place nice, I'm thinking. Oh, nice reflection. Okay. Hope my feet are waterproof. Let's see. It's a closet. Supplies. It's over here. Lockers. Hmm. Locked. Of course not. All right, all right, all right. Let's go find the... It's stuck. Locked. Well, that was useful. Guess we have to go the other way. Wait. Oh, hang on. Let's see what these got to say. Weather notice. Supervisor Nikolai Hansen. Due date. Ex 
explanation, expected snowstorm. A strong snowstorm is expected to hit in the next for the next two weeks. The utmost importance to take all cautionary, you know, med uh, cautionary measures and inform the responsible personnel and going outside. I don't think there's any responsible personnel in this entire expedition. Be, be aware, the radio connection between the base and the ship may not be available. Thing is period. Great. Oh, wait. That works. And his signature. Oh, and let's see. If we got anything else here? Oh. Kind of dodgy for the hit things. Ah, there we go. That looks like custom state of the art. Upagrok Expedition Wheeler Pequod. I'm guessing we didn't couldn't hire the best of the best. And there we go. There's our sigil again, but this time around it looks like it's part of an artifact. Maybe we based it off something we discovered here. And this, oh, this is familiar. This is an elder thing from the Mountains of Madness, the progenitors of humanity, but utterly by mistake. They're fungoid-like creatures that travel through space and um, make us look like complete and other monkeys. And this one. Familiar visits lower chambers once more in the form of a black cat. Its spectral image echoes through the seven rooms. What Sin called it out from its hollow, looming, dim light, dim and ghost-like. Ooh, so we have apparently a poetry night here. Oh, that's always nice. It's something to keep the boys from going crazy. Or, you know, that is a thing. Oh, hang on. Ooh. Uh, apparently just cold medication. I'm probably going to need that. So if I don't get the power back on, I'm going to freeze to death. Oh. Okay. Use box. And I can't touch it. Wait. Auxiliary power needs to be enabled from uh, manually from outside. That is an awesome design. Hang on. Design thing. If, you know, the power goes out and you start freezing to death, you have to go outside to fix it. And freeze to death faster, I guess. There is out. And there's my footsteps. I'm gonna guess the ice is out. Alright, see you on the other side. It's coat, I guess, because I got our street clothes. Cool. You know, the Antarctica is probably the most dangerous envir terrestrial environment on Earth, only for passed by the ocean. So, I should be dead within five minutes. <laughs> hmm. Well, that's great. I guess I'm a scrapbooker. Oof. Yeah, this looks cold. What's that? There's a, there's a strong light shining over there. Somehow it reminds me of a lighthouse. Yeah, lighthouse? Are we actually on the coast here? Wow. Ooh. Now here's an old practice. So you're dealing with environments with low visibility is you make sure that you have all the... F you clearly mark. Oh my god, they've even marked the flags? Seriously, did somebody have like a deal with like company that made these. My mind is cloudy. All I can remember is the successful establishment of the Upper Water Antarctic Base. And after that, nothing is clear in my mind. Apparently you've been taking drugs and subjecting yourself to strange radiation, so let's just get inside. So, you know, the fact that you're having some cognitive difficulty doesn't really surprise me. Uh, well, hey, it's only negative 75 now. Let's see if we got anything here, 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 here. Nothing of importance. Uh, oh, that was useless. Okay, so. Wait, what? Okay. Pick that thing. Oh, this was barricaded? This was barricaded, then what was barricaded from? And who barricaded and where are they? You in here? Locked. I thought so. Let's see, what do we got here? Ooh. This looks important. Ah, generator. Cool, apparently you're running the base on a 100 watt generator. Gonna have to be kind of sparing with the power. Okay. The tank is empty. Oh, that's uh, what's this? This hose was tampered with. Ah, so whoever barricaded themselves in here also is a saboteur. This is great. Oh, Ooh. Ooh, wait. A key. All right, all right, all right. I'm chill. Literally. 
Let's see if this works here. Oh! There we go. Uh-huh. And... HP <laughs> At the Mountains of Madness. Oh, how meta, people. How meta. A novel are written, I suppose, in the, uh... Oh, it's a trophy. Cool. I suppose in the, um... Could be a bit of a nod. Now, the thing is, sometimes you, Lovecraft is included in a Lovecraftian universe. Uh, right. Uh, broken. I should probably fix it. In that case, his novellas are literally... Ah, duct tape. Fix everything. All right. His novellas are literally him trying to warn the world through fiction. That's pretty good for duct tape. Did I make the entire hose out of duct tape? Or not just that portion. All right. So, oh, gas, 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 gas. There we go. Jerry can. Yeah, you're definitely British. You've torched Jerry can. What's interesting is a. Oop. Get that puppy going. I think. And safety first. Do, 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 do. All right. Let's see if you blow the fuse. Excellent. Power has been restored. However, I don't think this is place is heated. Uh, she even unlocked. Sparky. Hilarious. All right. Let's go back to the haunted facility now and check out all those items. Uh, why didn't I bring a coat? Let's see if we can run. Nope. Running's not a thing. But there we go. Normally, in adventure games, I go out and explore, but this is not the kind of time to do that. No, oh, seriously. This is our sigil? I mean, you might as well just say we delve in dark, mystical, um, uh, creepy stuff. Rather than just the arcane symbols. It'd be faster. Okay, so here we are back at the lovely Umpwat. Why did we call it Umpwat? Wait. Stop the bloody sessions. Apparently we didn't, because I just woke up from one. Ah, health notice. Attention for the crew... Oh, I'm going to try to do it from the original one. Oh, I'll do the journal update later. Attention for crew members who are having sleeping problems. Examinations conducted regarding the increase of accidents that are recently happening lead me to believe the reason behind this is some sort of intense cabin fever. Symptoms for this problem are insomnia, inability to sleep, strong headaches, seeing visions, and hearing voices. Right. And if, remember, when the extra-dimensional horrors start getting into your mind, all you need to do is say no. Crew members who suffer from the above symptoms are needed to refer to me personally through checkup. This will be the main topic of the general meeting, but I'm held after lunch tomorrow. This issue was shows the serious problems to the safety of life and sustenance at work, so we must heed soberly. Uh, Mr. D or Dr. DeWitt. Is that me? And same notice. Apparently nobody here read that notice, despite it being everywhere. Let's see, what do we got here? All right, that's the fuses. They're working. I think I don't have to worry about that now. Uh, uh. Oi! Ow! Okay. Life advice. If you that? If you see spooky things like that, you know, walk by in a hallway, you do not follow them. You do not follow them. Just repeat after me. You do not follow me. Uh, so we'll check this place out. Close the door, because if you guy sneaks up behind me, at least I'll hear the door opening. Oh, so the upper levels. This must be the area where the light's coming from. Oh, well, that's great. Creepy noise. Thank you very much. All right. Oh. Uh, nice Polaroid camera. Probably top of the line for this time period. Ah. Books. Yeah, read the. You have a choice in Lovecrafting games. You either read the books, know what's going on, or don't read them and leave a saner, happier life. All right. So Victoria Land, Ross Island, Ross Sea. This must be the direct area. So my. Oh wait, 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 wait. It's a listing of the areas over on the coast. Probably. I, I'm not walking out to those places. This is. I think in the back. Um, oh, storm. Wow. That left graph over there indicates the size of it. Oh, Morse code. I actually never knew this when I was in the military. 
No, you don't even have an easier way to look at it. Okay, and oop, nothing to tell me on the board. All right, so, oh, cool. All right, so first of all, journal. I better find a crew member. I woke up from a series of blurry nightmares isolated inside these somewhat foreign walls. I'm in my pockets. I found an empty notebook in which I'm writing my notes. That's a great thing about being a Lovecraftian protagonist. You always, always have notes. I mean, the writing material. Because you've got to write down your final words just as the horror is bringing up so, you, you know, you can pass it on to, you know, the next poor bastard. I can't remember anything other than that should it be others with me. The name's Dr. Faust, always a good sign, and Dr. DeWitt are lingering in my mind now. Well, we did just talk about them. Additionally, trying to delve deeper into thoughts gives me sharp pains in my already throbbing head. I better find a crew member and find out what's going here as soon as possible. Well, apparently the crew members are haunting the place now. This is Upuat Expedition Base. Pequod, please come in. I repeat, this is Upuat Expedition Base. Pequod, do you hear me? There is someone who can hear me. Please, come in. Some electrical condition in the disturbed air seems to prevent communication. Huh. I can't take them? Ugh, sigh. I never quite understood why you, these people create objects you can look at. Just so you can look at them. I mean, empty drawers. Besides just padding out the time. Oh, here we go. Oh, Hanson's notes. Ah, a little bit of bloodstain. Always an indication that this is an important thing. Um... For a while, my knights have been plagued by five, seven. Wind, actually, yeah. Hang on a second. This is well. Remember, this is the British way of doing us. This is actually the 18th day of June, as they put it. <laughs> Bomby sun, the weather down here. Um, 6:18. This is. Wait, what? This is the 18th of June. This is the 5th of July. This one comes later. How long have I been staying in that couch? For a while, my nights have been plagued by a bizarre nightmares wherein I have been talking to an unsubstantial figure. Oh well, yeah, I think I saw him heading down to the canteen. When I s maybe he needs a snack. Oh well, yeah, I wake up every morning. I fail to remember either his visage or the content of his dialogue. Only his silhouette talking in a somber tone. Ugh, that's how Narlahetep gets to you. These nightmares keep me from sleeping comfortably, the kind of sleep I am longing for. I haven't mentioned this to anyone yet, but I feel the constant urge to do so, as if my well-being is in balance. It should be logical to consult with Mr. DeWitt. Okay, so we have Radio Officer Hansen, who's probably not part of the usual experiment, making a fifth individual. Which makes me wonder... You know... How many there are of us. I mean, I appear to be part of the main four. Ooh, 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 wait. It's a tape recorder and I can't use it? Oh, this is just a tease. Oh, it did I can't, I can't even turn this off. I waste power, dude. You see what that little fuel we're running on? Ugh. Seriously, people. No more energy conser conservation. You'd be probably wouldn't be having these problems. All right. So, quick break down. All right. All right. All right. So let's get this doomed protagonist story kicking off, shall we? Head down where the creepy figure wants us to go. Actually, no. He went that way. I'm going this way. Uh, good morning, everyone. How are we doing today? Well, well, I understand. Me too. Ah, oh, the infirmary. Wait a minute. What happened to the guy whose torch this was? I'm feeling we might find out. I'm not feeling happy about that. All right, Doctor. I'm feeling much better now. Oh, great. Uh, typical. Understaffed. That's the thing about, you know, even 1949, the corporations are uh, simply want to allocate the personnel. Ah, here we go. Let's root through the, let's root through some private, um, some people's private medical records for fun. What the fuck? Oh, wait, those are gloves. Thank God that we had a, um, you know, Hannibal Lecter as our, uh, physician. Alright, fine. Doc DeWitt, this is the second time. 
Oh, oh, this must be what happened on that time. All of the members awakened without any problem except for Frank Gillum. All of a sudden, his heart ceased beating at around 1.45 a.m. It sucks for Gillum. He's extremely cold and there was no detectable pulse. While I was preparing to perform cardiac compression, he momentarily opened his eyes. I'm unsure how much time passed since his heart failed to beat. I can't have more than five minutes. And then there came the vain event that shook us all, that caused the very words to Frank Dillard utterly... Sorry, uh, Frank uttered directly to Dr. Foss right after he was awakened. You know, probably Klaatu, Piranha, Stick Doof. But never mind. I don't know how to explain it because his voice was muffled and almost indiscernible and it convinced the voice I heard did not belong to Frank. As a medical doctor, I can say this is not completely impossible for someone in his condition, but... There was a something wrong with what I heard. It was a sound no human vocal cords could produce. Okay, looks like we're doing this in order. It's good. At least the journal seems to know how these things are kind of supposed to go. All right. So it's now after pilfering the uh, <laughs> now after we're uh, pilfering the um, confidential documents of. Hang on, close that. All right. So oh, here we are. Up when uh, psycho on John DeWitt on psychoactive plants Saki and Devashini, which is the stuff we supposedly have been taking. The Derby Pickman Schneider Foundation, 1948. Derby Pickman, yes. Um, she should be dead by this point in the timeline. So it has to be, you know, the one that's actually in Pickman's model and Derby. Well, he's a ghoul technically. Derby should have been murdered by his possessed, murdered by his uh, best friend. And the thing on the doorstep. So, yeah. Apparent. Oh, what do we got here? Ah. Papua Antarctic Expedition. Statement of consent. By signing this document, you are agreeing to the terms written below. False statements made knowing or willingly include affidavits of other supporting documents submitted therein may be punishable. I hereby declare that I consent to perform my daily duties to the best of my ability, listen to the judgment of expedition leader Dr. Foss, and participate in a series of medical sessions as needed at the Apura Antarctic base. The risk of participating in the aforementioned medical sessions have been fully explained to me. Any questions I have regarding this procedure, why it is necessary, its benefits and risks have answered my satisfaction. Therefore, I give my conformed consent to the performance of the procedure by signing the statement of convents. Ah, yeah, great. Always read the end user license, guys, because I think this one, if you sign it, lets them just kill you. If you think about it, they're saying that, oh, conform consent. Uh, yeah, the experimental procedure with psychoactive drugs from archaic time and dabbling with things man wasn't need to know seemed to have killed him. But, you know, we're not liable because that's the important thing. Oh, OK. It's stuck. OK, very silent hill of you. Cool, let's get. Something to eat. Oh, smells awful in here. Okay. This is what I love. I'm gonna guess that the refrigeration is dead, which means that it's stuck. Uh easy way to keep down the number of rooms you have to build. It's the freezer, but we know not the freezer's not important, so we can't get there. And frankly, the whoever just doing the cleaning around here. Yeah, you're behind the job. Ooh, whatever happens in the middle of dinner. Cups knocked out, plates left, food. Must have been an emergency that we slept through. Why is it always the case? Doesn't seem to be anything terribly important. It won't open. Ah, let's see if we got anything here. Ah, sugar, herbal tea. Damn, I'd love to make a cup of tea right now. Real tea, though. Love herbal tea for its um lovely effects on institution. Ah, coffee. Can't take it, damn it. And this one doesn't open? Or are we just not close enough? Eh, I guess that one's just stuck as well. And the windows are frozen over. Ugh. I don't even know if I want to eat that before it was thrown on the floor. Eh. Probably don't want to eat on the stream tray either. Alright then, nothing terribly interesting here. So some sort of emergency happened. Somebody dropped a torch. Are we going to find out what it is down here? Probably if I start taking some of the pills, I'd feel better. Locked. Damn it. All right, then. What else we got down here? No idea what these are. The elevator. Yeah. 
could go down, but apparently I don't want to go down. Maybe I'm sequence breaking a little. I guess we're supposed to meant to follow that mysterious figure, despite it being probably a very stupid thing to do. So let's get to doing the dumb things, shall we? All right. Shut this down. It's stuck. Still can't open that damn thing? Well, why is it there then? What's going to jump out? All right, all right. Mysterious figure, tell me what you got going. Living quarters? Huh, you just decide to have a pop in for a nap. Ah, lockers. All right. Locked. Locked. All right. If his coat is just right here, where is he now? So this is Anderson, who we haven't discovered yet. Ah, there we go. Nikolai Goglo, the portrait. Russian literature. Yeah, I'm crying. It's well, locked. Well, you can't open it because the boxes, and you can't move the boxes because they can't do that in this game. All right, all right, all right. Uh, this guy's into pencils, apparently. Uh, now we know who's been stealing. We've been stealing from the uh, supply locker. Ned. Twit. Ah, but it's a lock symbol. Do we get keys for these like we did for the door? Ah, Hanson. Ah! Oh, I thought those were rats. No, what's this? Oh, well. I guess he's a whittler. I gotta do something of those downtime between drugs, drug trip sessions. Hmm. Locked. Well, I guess this one's locked. Ferguson. Urka. It's locked. Ah, oh, goddammit, you people. Why don't you trust me? I mean, it's not like I'm going through your stuff for anything. Right. I'm not gonna complain, apparently. If his coat is just right here... Where is he now? Which means I can't be outside unless they're frozen corpses, which, you know, I'm certainly not going to say is impossible. Okay, so... Ah, here we are. Ah, crew quarters. Let's see what we can find. Nothing here, so some glasses. Is that... Oh, look. There, it, it, whatever happened, happened in the middle of dinner, because there's nothing here. Ah, sketchbook. Ah, one of the composite sculptures we've come across during our initial field trips. It has an open third eye in the forehead as well as the inside of its hand, which I think indicates some sort of state of knowing things, because illusions and knowledge and elder things occur all the time in almost every bass relief we have discovered so far. All this leads me to believe these creatures inhabiting these halls have acquired some kind of knowledge from the elder things, fabled creatures of myth. Ah. Huh, there we go. Several other examples of the composite sculptures, in ranging from humanoid to reptilian in shape. They were mostly damaged and generally in a really bad shape. The lost parts were connected to the march's imagination. Ah, huh, well, hang on a second. Actually easier to see without the torch on it. So, humanoid figures and basilisks. Got it. The abundance of five-pointed shapes seen in the design of the structures we've come across cannot be overlooked. In addition, most of the elegant figures adorning and staring silently from above most of the gigantic gateways are reptilian in shape. So, lizard people are a thing in Lovecraft, but they're actually not Lovecraft. They were, I think, invented by um, Charles Ashton Smith, who is ironically one of the three founders of Cosmic Horror, but the other, the other one being Robert E. Howard, but one that nobody has ever heard of. Ah, the grotesque masonry caused an uproar with a countenance it wore in its reptilian face when we first found it residing within the almost substantial darkness of the cave where it had been covered in aeons past. Some of the crew even claimed the thing had heard muffled laughing coming from within it. The pine cone it was guarding or hiding with its humanoid hands has some symbols carved in it which yet to decipher. Hmm. Does look like a typical boss fight for Dark Souls there. Oops, sorry. Um, oh, take. Excellent, we can actually look at it later. Ah, it's a trophy. Cool, it's two trophies now. Oh wait, I already checked that one. This one, ah. Oh, he's cute. I may have to report your father's death to you. Please don't hate me for it. But yeah, whatever happened here happened during dinner. Oh, I love butterflies, by the way. Symbols of transformation. That's probably more ominous than I meant it to be. I don't see anything else, except somebody's ashtray? No smoking, guys. Limited oxygen. Alright, let's check this baby out. I'm just going through my co-worker's stuff. I mean, if they're dead, fair dibs. I'm an old-fashioned RPGer. You're dead, you're looted. Alright, so... No idea who this is. I wonder if it's an easter egg from the developers. Maybe him and his kid. Coat hanger. 
Ah, bloodstained documents. Hansen's notes, too. These nightmares have become unbearable. I still see the same man in my nocturnal visions, but now he was holding something in his hand, which I believe to be a lotus flower. Oh, you're being haunted by Buddha. This is great. Just, you know, ask him for some tips on enlightenment. We see to be continuing this grave and serious conversation again and again, but I can't seem to remember the contents. During working hours, sometimes, I hear his voice through the radio. Dude. Not something you want to write down, because... Yeah, disturbing. It's not in the form of meaningless sentences, but more like an unconscious mutterings, so like the ones the we've been doing, where we've been drugged out. I'm afraid to tell him about this. I hate the very idea of suspension of this. So yeah, this is great, by the way. I love the fact that when people start going crazy, the first thing they have to do is they have to hide that because everybody else will be very will be on about them. You know, it's just uncomfortable for everybody involved. Anyways, let's keep looting. Oh, I found a secret. Didn't realize that was a secret. Well, secrets can be easy to find around here. Now, what's interesting is this one doesn't seem to have been disturbed, so I wonder if it was occu wasn't occupied during the whatever emergency that happened. All right. Uh, left or right? Left or right? Eh, it doesn't really matter. We'll get to them all eventually. So I'm guessing, like I said, this is the crew quarters, not the big four, but the support staff required to keep this facility going. And their kids... Always disturbing, because I always wonder if this was the real world, I feel like I'm anxious about the number of um, potential orphans I'd have to inform. Ah, a key. Where does this go to? Ugh, hang on. There we go. Ah, key with a tag that says John DeWitt. This must be DeWitt's place, and I think he was one of the locked lockers, so just gloves, just gloves. Keep telling yourself that. This is not an entire place with, um, Severed hand fetishes. Let's see if I can find the lockers again. Ah, they're over here. Do it, do it, do it. Uh, Barlow, brown wall. Do it! Yes, I have broken into your stuff, do it. This is revenge for taking taking the last pencils. If his coat is just right here, where is he now? I found a note about mental problems. Oh, gods. We're all going mad. I, I'm probably crazy myself. I've noticed a... Did I slaughter everybody? Really hope not. I've noticed a very curious and dangerous development in the psychological condition of the whole crew that compels me to record this note as initial diagnosis report. So this is probably the doctor. DeWitt. Right, DeWitt was the doctor. The problem is especially intense for three subjects, Dr. Barlow, Dr. Anderson, and Frank Gilman. Well, Gilman's dead and possessed, so I think we're fine there. Whom I've been inspecting closely since the onset of their psychological degradation. During the past two nights... I wonder if Barlow, Anderson, and Gilman are the other three. During the last two nights, the aforementioned subjects awoke, screaming in their beds, thus affecting and demoralizing all the crew members. When I spoke to them personally, I noticed some serious deviations in their behavior problems. As time progressed, I noted deep changes in their mental conditions. What really pushed, they when really pushed, they clearly stated to behave like someone else. It made me believe that I was facing some sort of multiple personality disorder, but it's too early to draw any conclusions. It's possession. Trust me on that one. Their condition is getting worse day by day, and other subjects are not too far a cry from the normal personalities, but the difference is, of course, obvious. Their condition is getting worse day by day, and a serious medical examination is needed to be carried out on everybody displaying such symptoms. I informed Dr. Faust and warned him about the consequences. He looked worried, but nevertheless hasn't mentioned it to me since. With the weather conditions that I've been receiving lately, it seems extremely unlikely we will receive professional help from the outside world or will be able to send anyone away for thorough medical examinations. It's the same thing to do in the circumstances. So, we're a crew of crazy people, so one of us has to have slaughtered the rest. It's probably me. This must, and then this must be my second nicer personality? Uh... Somewhat. It's like every Lovecraftian story. The more you learn, the less you like. Seriously, no one's got a coat on. And it's probably somebody's father. Could be a self-portrait, you know. Apparently I can't remember anything. Gods, this is this is the forties. About to become the fifties. Oh, what do we got? Ferguson's notes on his dreams. 
So this is Ferguson. I am inclined more towards the notion that our nocturnal visions are not just faint and fantastic reflections of our waking experiences. Every time I pass into a state of dormancy or somehow I can explore why I'm dreaming in the vistas of grandeur, an alien prospect and the unnatural disposition, so vividly um, expressing the outer extent of this world I have yet to discover. If only I was endowed with the artistic skill to describe my visions. All I know is exhibits after the Canarium sessions have begun. Okay, so these are Canarium sessions. The name of the device must be the Canarium then. So we have a Canarium device and we're drugged up as hell and we have strange dreams in which mysterious entities do things to us. Want to explain to me exactly why anybody would agree to do this? I mean, I must have signed the consent form back there. Oh, God, it must be some serious money in it, I guess. Even though I must not be one of the participants, I am somehow affected. I feel absorbed while in an unconscious state to the oblivion, crossing the line to the wall of sleep. Actually... Sorry about that. I'm getting some... Well, I hate to say this. I'm getting some oblivion. Not oblivion. Annihilation um, vibes here. And if you have not seen that film, run out and see it now. Because it is probably the best retelling of the color out of space reset in the 21st century I've ever seen. It's not obvious. And they don't speak about it exactly. But it is... Uh, anything here? Good drugs? E. Liquor? Get the... I can't get the liquor. God, it's out... Anybody here who wouldn't want to get drunk? Locked. Eh, break into that later. Locked. Eh, well, okay. We need to get the master keys and just get the place. I know somebody's got the good stuff hidden. Ah, private rooms. Did they move? All right then. This must be the officers' quarters. And wait a minute. How are these plants functioning? We're in Antarctica. There's no full spectrum light here, so these must be really good shade lovers. Blake Barlow. Let's see, Blake. All right. Oh, nice place. You got here, Mr. Blake. I'm guessing you rate pretty high. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Anything here? Empty. And bottom ones don't seem to open. Ah. Oh, the purpose of the expedition. I know we're close to what we're looking for. This is 623, which puts it in between the two we've had before. During the adaptation sessions we hold here in the meeting room, which must have been where I woke up, I feel guidance of some sort, something pointing to the destination we seek. This could mean we are now in sync with the ancient source. This is a Lovecraft universe. That's not a good thing. The wearable canarium we've been carrying on our left arms connects and thus receives sensations from the same ancient source and sometimes I wonder what crap I've been carrying that thing around and sometimes I wonder whether they have ever been another soul during humanity's relatively brief existence that was able to achieve such a feat with such shunned and elusive sources I have gathered from around this world it shall be said the extraterrestrial species the elder thing race built it after passing through a stage of mechanized life on other planets and its purpose remains unclear yeah I see Whoa. what the hell the strange device was already on my left arm when I came around the meeting room of the Umquat Antarctic base. It comes at no surprise I don't remember anything about it. What does it do? Huh. Whoa. Wait. Ah, damn, I was hoping that... Does that needle point to the same direction constantly? Let's see. Well, no. I mean, if I'm spinning around, I... Oh, it's just a timepiece. Oh. oh. Hang on. Sorry about that. Uh, put it down. Oh, there we go. Okay, so... I'll deal with that later. I'm probably not going to like it. All right. Okay, after our haphazard... This is five, This is February 5th, guys, so this is probably near the beginning. After a haphazard and momentary aerial exploration of the unholy... Un God, this guy came from the Lovecraft school of purple prose. On the holy, utterly alien cyclopean maze of square curved and angled blocks, we should detect most of the locations revealed by the previous Miskatonic University expedition leader, the Professor Emeritus William Dyer. Now that is coming directly from At the Mountains of Madness. Now that's a, since that's a public domain, I'm going to leave a link to The Mountains of Madness down in the description if you're really interested in doing so. It um, should be coming from the Love the Lovecraft um, websites. You should be able to either read it online or download a uh, file that gives you an idea of the background of this particular story. But let's just say that the short of it is that the first Miskatonic University expedition discovered the Elder Thing ruins, and we're here to loot them. But here, what we're looking for is not there. Inside the haunted Shoggoth ruins. You ever seen a Shoggoth? Yeah, it seems to keep coming up. 
According to the various sources, it met beyond the older ruins beyond the Elder City, right on top of the mountain beyond the Mountains of Madness. It was built over a location deeply shunned by even the Elder Things. And why did they build it? Or did somebody build it before them? And built long before the colossal city Dr. Die and his team explored. Okay, so apparently they want to out Lovecraft Lovecraft by saying no. That great metropolis he discovered was just, a, just wasn't the real um, wonder. It's the one beyond it. Oh, he's upping the ante. Now we set foot upon lands no one has ever seen before. No human, thank you, speciest. A vast mass of dry land upon the South Pole, which rose from the primal waters when the eeled ones seeped from their stars, a place so evil most arcane sources hesitate to record it at all, while some murals on the Elder City depicted it with utter repugnance and trepidation, and I'm getting way too much into this. But yeah, these... Is there... Oh, God, I pointed at the screen as if you could see it. Anyways, yeah, these are supposedly where the Mountains of Madness are in the center. Now, in the real world, this doesn't exist. But it's kind of interesting, the Cyclopean City. I love that. They're still using those terms. Mountains of Madness, yeah, older city ruins. Oh, uh, for crying out loud. Oh, ooh, 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 I kept it. Cool. I can still look at that. A description. There's a third eye thing. Ah, there we go. Generated voices outputted to speakers. Incoming power needs regulated. Main feed input. Backside. Auditory and visual data are fed to main system by primary filter. Is it really possible to feed the machine with an actual brain? Ancient sources speak too secretly about this. Based on the writings of R. Bacon and Wolfgang von Klempton. I will try to prove the machine now. Bacon. I don't know. Recognize the names. If you do, let me know in the description. Uh server motons photo servers ah what's this oh cool i don't know what it is huh. a handle well i picked it up it has to be useful ah so it's this it's stuck mm. okay so ah I guess we're fiddling the buttons to see what happens i have no idea what i'm supposed to be doing here but I'll power through it. That's like a heart. Ooh, is that a good thing? Hard to tell sometimes. I don't know if I had a clue here. It probably has something to do with that note. Ooh, ooh, that looks good. I think. So this incurs the wave size, but what am I looking for? Some sort of even run? Huh. Am I trying to match? Oh, that's it. I'm trying to match to the... the, the, the I don't know if you can see it or not, but he's barely detectable. Yeah! Red thing's on the back, and that's a good thing, I hope. That's what I'm looking for. No. Okay, so I've almost got it. I got the top one done now. Oh, you have to solve two of them. This affects the wave sign and the width of the things. Let's see, can we get it to work? Come on. To match, I think. Almost. speed. Match width. You can do this. Well, some puzzles can be a bit tricky. Come on, come on, come on. I know, fascinating. If necessary, I'll jump to a, uh, better phase. Okay, that's expanding them. There, got it. Ah, oh, teletype started. Ooh, and we have a button.
Okay. What the hell? Wait. Did they... This is a brain case. Anybody who's familiar with Whispers in the Darkness is somebody replicated a brain case. Didn't plant a great activity. That's just not impressing me right now. But yeah. Ah, world history myths. Here, seriously. Talk to me about this. Specifically, the pineal gland, also known as the pineal body, canarium or F canarium. That's it. It's a session. Oh, gods. This is an attempt to re replicate the resonator from From Beyond, which is supposed to give you the, um, stimulate the pineal gland to allow you to see things from beyond, you know, normal space and time, which of course drives you crazy or kills you. But. Apparently, they're trying to replicate them in Antarctica for some reason. Guess you could get around prohibitions against human testing here, if any exist in 1949, but it's named after the shape it resembles of a pine cone. But there's a mention of the pine cone in the sketchbook, too. This is all getting weirder. It's located in the epithelmus near the center of the brain between the two hemispheres. It's over here. Uh, there, there it is. The pineal gland produces melatonin, a serosquerotion-derived hormone which modulates sleep patterns in both circadian and season cycles. The mystical traditions and philosophy ascribe it a different role. René Descartes, you know, the guy who says, I think, therefore I am, you need to know who said that, regarded as the principal seat of the soul and the place which all our thoughts are formed. The writings of Mena Belaski, which is an actual mystic of the time, who's the one responsible for the Atlantis myth, by the way, who saw it in her dreams. It was explained with the Hindu concept of the third eye or the Ansha Chakra. Also, yes, that's correct. The chakra, the third eye chakra is located where the pineal gland is in your skull, which is either coincidence or science being behind mysticism by a thousand years. As part of the human body not fully understood today, it holds its deep-rooted place as one of the most important links between our material and continually degrading mystic nature. Oops, sorry. Uh, our page? Nope, cannot. All right, we'll take this. Well, I guess I'll have to turn them on again, but, um, guys, I'm probably going to save that for next episode, because talking to a disembodied brain is probably going to be a little bit more than I want to do at the end of this session. So, I'll see you next episode. This is Fantastic World saying farewell from Lovecraft Country, deep in the Antarctic slice and the... Yeah. Saying farewell from Lovecraft Country and uh, the Antarctica and Canarium. See you next episode.